today's video, we're gonna get rid of this old store-bought bookshelf and replace it with this. Welcome back to the channel, and so today we're gonna build this bookshelf, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, tell you everything that you need to complete this on your own, and to be able to give yourself kind of like a industrial bookshelf to go along. Uh, that's kind of like the look of the house we're going with, so it's gonna match it pretty good. So, as you can see, you have everything kind of all laid out the way it's going to be. Uh, so, we went with half inch black steel uh, threaded piping. Um, so, we have eight of the half inch by half inch tees, uh, which are going to join our uh, top pieces into the uh, slides that are going to go up against the wall that'll hold the shelves. Um, you're going to need Four of the uh, floor flanges here. You're gonna need eight of these 12 inch uh, threaded pipe. Uh, those are going to basically set the height of your uh, shelves. Nice part about it is you can basically make it however you want it. Uh, we got 10 of these uh, 10 inch, which are gonna be where the shelves sit on. And then at the top here, Went ahead and got two 3 inch pieces and then got two 90s, two more floors uh, pieces that we'll use to screw it into the wall and then uh, two more 10 inch pieces that are just going to join up to the wall with that. Also, I've already done it. I already went and picked up, uh, I got two 6 foot pieces of 1x6. I already went ahead and stained it. I uh, cut them down to uh, three foot uh, because that's what we want ours to be three foot wide. I uh, went ahead and picked up these little L's that I'm going to put on the ends here, which basically be a book stop. Um, and then I also got uh, these little half inch um, pieces that will hold the uh, shelves to the pipe. Um, so we'll go ahead put all that together. Now the nice part about all of this is the modularity of it. You can build it however wide you want it. Uh, all you have to do is rip down your uh, one by 10 to whatever length you want it to be and then you can just space it out however you want it. You can also make it taller, uh, whatever you want to do. That's the nice part about this. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to put together the first portion of it um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of it and then uh, once I get back to doing the top part, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that because everything in the middle is all going to be the same stuff. So how you're going to assemble this, you're going to take uh, one of your fuller pieces. Uh, that's going to be your uh, bottom part. And then you're going to take a piece of the uh, 12 inch threaded pipe. Go ahead and thread that on there. Then you're going to take your T that you have here, put that on the other side of the 12 inch pipe. And then you're going to take your 10 inch, you're going to put it into the side here. Go ahead and thread that in. And then that's basically going to be your piece right there. And then all you're going to do is just do a 10 inch or a 12 inch on top and then a T and just rinse and repeat basically these three steps right here over and over until you get to the top portion of it. Now for the top portion of it, uh, this is going to be the part that goes onto the wall. Uh, so you're going to take your floor plate, uh, which we're going to use to screw it into the wall. Take your 10 inch piece, 
screw it into it. And then you're gonna take one of the 90s that we have, put that on it. This is what's going to turn this into a wall piece. So then you're gonna take the three inch piece that I also picked up, thread that on there. And then we're just going to take this and put it onto the top here, which then is going to make this into a piece that'll go up to the wall and then screw in. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like when it's all put together. Um, you're gonna have your 90 goes up to the wall and then every one of these, so it's gonna be four shelves. Uh, the reason I went with the three inch for the top is because with the shelf here, there's gonna be nothing above it. So you'll still be able to put books up here and utilize that as a shelf without having to use another uh, 12 inch piece. There's not, you can put all your taller stuff up top. Um, so basically this is what it's gonna look like. Your floor plate, 12 inch, T, and then your 10 inch pipe, and then just keep doing that all the way up until you get to here, and then do a three inch pipe, uh, 90, 10 inch, and a floor plate, so that's what's gonna go up to the wall there. Uh, so I've already measured out the wall. Uh, this is pretty much where it's gonna sit. I measured center, and then I wanted uh, 34 inches in total, so that way I can have an inch overhang on each side with the uh, shelf itself. So basically, uh, all I gotta do is do it all over again with this one, and then we'll get to uh, mounting these up. All right, got both sides done. Threw the shelves in there just to make sure that they fit good. Um, went ahead and marked all the holes here. Um, so we don't have studs here. So we have some drywall um, anchors and screws that we're gonna use here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. All right, so now we got the drywall screws in. <clears throat> went ahead and put this brackets in. Uh, just go ahead and mark center for those. And then also go and take uh, those little half inch pieces and uh, you're gonna clip it on to the pipe here and then run a screw up in there. And that's just gonna make it to where your shelf won't slide side to side, won't move or nothing like that. Um, so go ahead and just uh, repeat those steps for all of the shelves. All right, so now we got the whole thing done. Um, so we got all the little brackets on here. Uh, so I'll hold the books up there. <clears throat> so as you can see here, so that way all your stuff doesn't fall off the side. Um, and then we went ahead and put all the under brackets on. Um, so it's super easy to do. I think it probably takes maybe a half hour and you can have this whole thing done. Um, so hope you liked the video. Go ahead and stay tuned for more content. Go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, smash that bell so you get notifications of any new videos that I'm putting out. And I'll see you guys next time.